Can't see anybody. There we go. Hey. Uh, let's just put this. I should have just started up here. To begin with. <laughs> I tried to get fancy. It's too late. I don't know. That was fancy. I liked it. I don't have enough like explosions and stuff to overlay on it to make it exciting. So I was trying to do this, the camera work to do it. You know what? The explosion can be in their mind. In mind CGI. <laughs> I'm also hoping my stand doesn't fall over because that. I don't know, it's a pretty good thing. That would be that would create a lot of excitement. It's working. Melly beverage. Melly no, beverage. For top in here. I was just wearing my my crocheted uh, Stevie Nicks thing the other day, actually. I was quite happy with it, as usual. How's everyone doing? I'm trying to bring this up here so I can actually see the chat. I feel like that's the one thing that we always have going on that we we always can't see the chat. Well, that oh, I'm, now you've got. I'm gonna man the chat here so I can actually see what's going on. Well, and the good thing about this is we can see it after it's happened. So, <laughs> wait, no, that that doesn't make any sense. So, doing some recording today, working on some new songs. Like, I will say it's nice having everyone in the room together. Uh -huh. Because usually we're in here at different times. Yeah, different times. <laughs> and then yesterday they're like, oh, let's hang out with that mic. Let's have fun. That mic. We we had uh, we had family time at Dane's house. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 ribs that I did bring, I did bring ribs for for Mike. So that you did. I'm gonna get get Mike rib drunk later. There we go. Now this is open. Rib, rib drunk. drunk. That's that's his term. He said, "Oh wow." It and that's chat open. It is delayed. It's like I can wave here. Well, there's yeah. It's but I want to see where it comes up there. Beth's here. Hey, hey, Beth. Carmen just showed up. Boom, boom. How's everybody's Wednesday going? Okay, see, yeah, it's like. Oh, look how far it's behind like, it is. It's like a oh, minute. Oh yeah, well, don't watch that. Well, I'm not there. trying to. I removed but it's... this from vision. <laughs> I'm just here to to operate this so that we can see stuff. Yes. Yeah, so, what day is today? Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. So, what's what's everybody's Wednesdays look like? Exciting. Any anyone have any funny stories? Well, it's a lot to, to type out. They've got a funny story. Oh, I don't know. Like, I could. I feel like I could make a three-word funny. Especially story. if you got a really funny story, but you're a slow typer. Just, okay, that's that a is, horrible that's a, combo. It's a tough thing. We're setting, we're setting people up. It's not undoable. Yeah. So. Yesterday, I ate food. That's not funny. It was funny That's the way funny. I said it. It's the delivery. Yeah. Whatever, whatever <laughs> pilot this show is right now, probably not going to get the. Oh wait, food. hold on a minute. No, I've got a good <laughs> joke out of that. It's okay. The delivery. So list. yesterday, I ate food. It was delivery. Oh wait, no. You have to say that's not funny, and I'll say yeah, it is funny. And then I say it it was delivery. Sorry, it was, it was in the delivery. The oh, deli okay. You get what I mean? Like the food yeah, was the delivery, think, but it's in. I think it needs refining. <laughs> I can't eat refined things. Uh, anyways, back we are uh, we are working on some more songs here. You and can see you can see how the process how the yeah, sausage is made. We're recording some guitars this afternoon. Now we're starting some bass this evening. I like to record the bass in the evening. I find the lower frequencies, they translate better uh, after 7 p.m. It, yeah, it's... It's like a sun thing. Yeah. How it hits the... Air pressure. Yeah. It's also calming. Yeah. But Brennan sounds good any time of the day, though. It's just, that's... It's like it paid big bucks. Especially at night. <laughs> <laughs> in the heat of the night. That's the other thing, though. We can't do bass during the day because he does... It, it gets a little too sweltering well, in here. Well, it's just... You can't have it so hot. It's already yeah. hot licks. It's licks. already no. hot licks, it's and too, so you add yeah. on here. Yeah, because we can't run the air conditioning because <laughs> that that just that completely. I don't know. It's just it, yeah. That ruins everything. That's how the Toronto gets brownouts from trying to run the AC. Yeah, that's right. Brennan's playing it's too hot during the day. Too too damn hot. Yeah, North York. And then he hits the brown note. Yeah, it's, and it's that, a lot. That makes everything there. greasy. Otherwise known as low A. <laughs> so for there it is. Actually, to get it out of the way, thanks for everyone uh, voted in the K Bear 101. Yes, FS. thank you. 
I I think there was some there was an executive decision <laughs> at Kbear One Hundred One because we were doing quite well on the Facebook poll. I think we were up about we were thirty we thirty were, something percent. No, ahead. it looked like a we were yeah we were we were yeah. going pretty good. Yeah, finish line was there, and then they have another poll on the um, on their website, and that one we were down a lot in the morning, and so we posted it and community got together. We hustled. I think we were down three percent. Uh, and said it was about an hour left online on the Facebook poll, and then I refreshed it to see if we were how we were doing, and it switched over. And uh, our I was going to say our friends in corn, but we don't have any friends in corn. Um, but corn uh, decided to kill switch, defeated us on that poll. So then corn was up there, and I was thinking, yeah, if I'm if I'm K Bear, I kind of want Kill Switch versus Corn. Uh, definitely a much more suitable. Yeah. Because as as a sports fan, I know when the teams you want in the finals for the ratings, and I'm not trying to downplay Tense Machine at all, but I know if, if t you know you put the, the two up there, you want Kill Switch versus uh, versus Corn. So that was definitely a Raptors Raptors Golden State type type decision. Yeah, so I I, I feel like and I understand throwing the Raptors. Someone back. someone may have made a decision. You go, you know what? They just stood up at their desk and they just said shut they it down. They had their fun. They had their fun. Yeah, shut it down and uh, and we can <laughs> we can go from there. So Brian is saying it was rigged. I don't think it was I don't think rigged is the right word because no because we were winning on Facebook and I think we we're about to overtake them online, but I just think they they uh, they jumped the gun a little bit on on how the voting kind of ended up there, and uh, you know it is it is what it is. We had a lot of fun again. It was nice seeing the community come together because I remember with, with Dead Set we had a lot of good times with a lot of the, uh, the oh, online yeah. competitions, and it was just cool to see, especially in. Um, that first one against uh, was it Champagne? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that was tough. That was definitely that was one of the closest battles we've had like that ever. Yeah. Because that was it kept going back and then forth and back. Because it, it got down to just like you know we yeah. need to reach out to a few people and see if we can get their support. Yeah. We have to do some canvassing. Yes. To to see if we could get in there. <laughs> so you can't do that all the time because you don't want to be one of those bands that's doing that. But we're having fun with it and and. Uh, yeah, my, my personal favorite of that is when you get people that would tell you two days later they were going to vote. <laughs> or two, two days later that they did vote. And you're like, but it's not even, it's internet cares, it's fine. You know what, though? It, it's, uh, it's one of those things where I, I started seeing, I started sending messages to people and saying, hey, like, we're trying to pull ahead in this competition. Can you just maybe maybe tell a couple friends at work to, to go vote? Yeah. No, no. And, and, and they were like, yep, already did that. So I was like, oh, well, shoot. We'll, we'll dig deeper in we the dig wells. Deep. We'll just try to win these things. But no, it, it's amazing. Thank you. Thank you to everybody that, that did take the time to vote. And, and especially, like, you know, sharing the posts. The amount of the amount of people that that, that reaches, you don't even understand. It, uh, yeah, it helps. It's it's exponential at that point for, for a band. Also, sharing is to help people see the new project, see 10th Machine, because they, they didn't mm -hmm. know about it. Yeah. So they also got a bunch more likes. It helps the reach. All that stuff does help. Yeah. So you would say that sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. And, and it's more fun to win. We like giving the, the, the share care countdown. Yeah. Uh, scrolling through some messages here. It's Ashley Brand's birthday. No happy, way. Bir happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to uh, Mike Patterson saying, what's up? What's up, Mike? What's up, Mike? What's up, Mike? Hey, 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 hey. Amy is Amy Wyman is surprised that she's actually seeing us live right now. <laughs> this is early. This is yes, it's very. I actually, I, I sent a message last night. I was like, so "What time are you guys live?" Yeah. <laughs> it's a little late. It was we were, a little late. We were we were definitely spending a lot more time setting up and setting up things, watching and heavy having, metal. Ha yeah, exactly. We <laughs> did get lost watching heavy metal for. Longer than we 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 had that on. Now I was doing the ribs, so at the same yeah, time cooking. I would have had to been in and out the whole time. So so why well, we could have we next time maybe I'll teach you guys how to make some ribs. I realize I that be. I'm talking to some people could from the south, live, so that stream. that yeah that could be that'd be a long live stream. Yeah, I'll I'll cut you guys in at little pieces and then show you the end the end result. You can put, <laughs> put the super cuts together. Yeah, the, the super cuts. 
Yeah. I'll do like a barbecue pit masters, yeah. That'd be I'll good. Like that. Uh, Devin's here. Teresa's here. Hey, hey, Devin. Brian Teresa. Rainwater is here. How's it going, Brian? Brian. He's saying, I know Jason Carey and I shared the crap out of it. Appreciate it. But we're not going to do a cover of Freebird today. It's, I know. <laughs> I know what you, I know what you're getting at, Brian. I know I know where that door leads. So, uh, what's going on here? Uh, playlist Spotify. Spotify is doing really well for yeah. us. We, yeah, we've been added to a bunch of playlists, including Melody like pointed out the uh, Coal Creek County's got a fan playlist. Yes. So that's pretty cool. It's good to see bands supporting bands. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Um, much appreciated there. Thanks for pointing that out. Um, what else is on our agenda to chat about? People have been asking about a record. Yes, we're working on a record. Yes, definitely as we speak. That's why there's there's guitar in hand, but as we said, it's it's bass time. It's, yes. it's, it's time for the low and sultry, sultry rocking. Pretty much the only way we could get Brendan in here. <laughs> is he, I was just like, hey, are you free? And he's like, record question mark. And I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. So amazing. Yes, but definitely, definitely uh, on on the very very soon horizon. It's kind of nice being in just just randomly recording tracks because, like, I, I don't mean randomly recording tracks, but the ones that that we we came in to start start working on it. it some of them were, were riffs that, that Brennan started out with, and, and I, I, de I had to literally learn a guitar riff today. I had to, I had to do work. I had to do work, and it was... I'm not going give to the, give it away, but it was definitely... Shh, it's okay, it's okay. It was... It was quite riff, riffy. Quite perfect. It was good. That's that's the end of it. Well, that's the other thing too, because like it's, it's it's been difficult to get everybody together. So, like with some of the songs we're working on today, the thing I was saying, like Brennan started those, so he has the riff for it. So you're trying to figure out how someone was playing it, and then Brennan sits down and he's like, "Oh, I just tuned I just this, did like this, and then did this." And you're like, "Oh, that would have been good to know like four hours ago." <laughs> it's way more sense now. But anyways, now this new record we're working on that it's either going to come out in the fall or early next year so we'll see how that like there's a lot of there's a lot of gears to trying to put music out and uh actually that leads to the next thing or chatting about some options mm -hmm. to get playing some shows because we, we do miss do miss playing we miss your faces we miss a lot of faces yeah we do miss seeing you peeps yeah so um where should we go try to play some shows Tell us yeah. where to come. Might put a post up. So we put a post up a while ago saying where everybody is from. I think we just broke 2,000 likes on Facebook, which is which is which is good. But uh, I might put a, a, a post up so the uh, the makers can see <laughs> yeah. the makers can see where there's demand for for us to stop by. And, and be... then you can meet your makers. <laughs> <laughs> No, the makers is the people who book things. Because again, being a Canadian band, we kind of need. Oh, I just wanted to say. We that. need. Leaders. I like that. So. Very much, man. I feel like we need to get some kind of an app made that speaks the words that people are typing. But then into a little thing, our ears. That would. That feels like craziness. Because as you're trying to respond to that, you'd be seeing things, and then. I don't know. It feels like we'd be in the secret service or something. Could be. It's almost Chip's like here. Like... Sorry. Which one? Chip. Oh. Chip. Chip hey, Parabell's hey, Chip. here. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I want one of those. It's a busy room right now. I know. Yeah. A lot of people in here. We could always have someone that just reads the comments and shouts them at us while we're while we're. That's talking. why we need a two camera system. So we'll have like someone. But look how his... look how backwards it is on that thing. It takes forever. No, it doesn't. Yeah, pull pull that That's, video back over and we'll see how behind it is. It's good. This is good. <laughs> there we go. We're looking Wisconsin, which yes. is which is a state. Chicago, which is a gigantic city. Yep. Central Wisconsin, which is the middle of That's, the state. It's more specific. So, 
Chip's asking what's up. We're doing some recording today, but we thought we'd take a break. Yes. To say hi to some people. We wanted to... Because we we're all together. Wanted to show our, our punums. This is, yeah, this is for, like, we, we launched this on, what, the 28th of May? 28th or 29th, So it's been yeah. almost an entire month. Almost a month, yeah. To get us all together. Well, we we were we were together at other points. We just we yeah. weren't really thinking at the time about live streaming. We were trying to <laughs> we got some things done. We were we were absent-minded when it came to the live streaming at that particular juncture. Mark McKenzie's in here. Mark McKenzie, hey, thank, hey thanks hey. for spinning us, Irina. Yes, thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Supporting unsigned bands. Yes, definitely a huge thing. With with how people supporting unsigned bands that would... launched like a week a, a week in weekend? yeah exactly <laughs> yeah that like didn't have a picture up or anything Not appreciate a... it I, I guess a pot to piss in good would, would good be, people doing good things. things that's right always the pot <laughs> Zach Cooper's here remember to remember to vote for uh, Canadian Beats Weekly Beatdown yes. I'll put the link up for that yes. again as well. Uh, again, you've been, the, the thing is, is these, the, uh, the, the K-Bear 101 Roctagon is like one day. So like Beatdown goes for the, goes entire, for the entire week. week so when yeah. the, and you see like you got 24 hours to try to win against some of these giant bands. Like Killswitch had 2.2 million likes on Facebook. All they needed to do was post anybody in that band. Just <laughs> yeah. be like, leave the link up there and they could just put the turbos on and just sat back and it would have been game over. It's true though. It is. <laughs> Like, I'm not trying to be pessimistic. We would have got destroyed. Like, it would have been comically been, bad. And I, yeah, I, in another yes. universe, I want to see what that number is. Or if it's like, you know, 174,159 to like 174. Yeah. And you're like, okay, that's that's pretty brutal. But it would have been funny, and I would have taken a screenshot of that. Yeah, that would have been a good it. one. But That would have been so far ahead that it was almost fun for us. And they might have actually yeah. gone over 100%. <laughs> They may have taken percentages from us. Yeah. You know what? You guys are so far behind. We're gonna give them one ten. Yeah. So the Common Core math couldn't even say that. It would just. That's an inside joke. That's. That's Jason Carey. Ten's machine joke. That was good. But, anyways, yeah. So remember, vote for uh, Canadian Beats Weekly Beatdown. Uh, We we like these these competitions. They're fun. When you're on tour too, they're they're good. They're good One, honestly, like there's bands that I never would have would have maybe even seen if not for those those little competitions. It's true. Yeah. yeah. So, and people just, that may have not seen our band. Yes. I will. I will also say from my again, I have my my artist brain and then I have my industry brain. I think for some some bands, it shows how important it is to have a healthy community for your socials, for Facebook, for Instagram. For Twitter so that when these things do pop up and you have really low numbers because you don't think it matters it's like you need to grow those communities and um, like even when when, uh, when Dead Set launched uh, back in 2016 mm. we got a lot of a lot of people um, that liked the page out of the gate and it's like the people who like the 10th machine page out of the gate are like our core community a lot of it, yeah so when we were asking for people to vote and 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 get involved like it didn't take long for that number to shoot up and yeah. especially with that again not to bring it back to keyboard but to bring it back to that that po- that poll on their website and how quickly it went from like 10 percent to like 25 percent to 40 something percent like people got involved with it yeah you know and that's just a strength of the community so again thanks again for for that yeah, and, thanks, and if you're in a band don't neglect your socials like do it's community it's friends like yes yeah. It's worth it to, to put the time into it. That's my opinion. Well, and at the end I mean, of the day, opinions of, of at the end of the day, I'm not going to say that it isn't somewhat selfish in the fact that it's kind of like like I've had I've had nights where I've been sitting there on Facebook, and all of my friends like that that I you know hang out with or whatever, and you guys or whatever, everybody's asleep. But somebody on the West Coast that's got insomnia is typing out, and I end up having you know a conversation which has nothing to do with Tense Machine or Dead Set Society or anything like that. And and that's that's part of the amazing thing of having the the, the FaceTime and and 
you know, Facebook, Instagram, all those things, it, it gives us that opportunity to kind of know our fans and friends and, and, yeah. and yeah, build that community in a way that, that, you know, bands, bands 20 years ago just didn't have. You know, they had no access yeah. to that. So, well, Teresa's saying, yeah, social media is free advertising when you have a great core fan base. Well, yeah, just spreading the word. And, and again, the industry brain for me, talking chat with bands about stuff, they get mad that people don't see stuff. Um, on Facebook, like you need to pay to boost their posts for people to see stuff. Well, if people are sharing things and you're you're sharing content that's worthwhile that people are interested in, it does go a lot further. Yeah. So, anyways, end rant on that. And again, thanks everybody for for helping out with that. So, uh, people are, are telling us where they they want us to, to see us. Where, to where, where do, have you seen any that we haven't played before? Uh, it's just, there's some, Winona, Minnesota, I've not seen that before. Yeah, no, we haven't played there before. But, and I'll put a post up, put a post up about that so you can, for our, our friends in booking, they can look into it, because again, we, it's being a Canadian band, um, there's a little bit more work involved getting your visas together and timeline and stuff, so, if we could just hop down there for the weekend. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Know, we would, but. I'd pack, a little more complicated. I'd pack a yeah. small bag and a tiny guitar. Yeah, so it's a couple things. And a really small microphone. Uh, any questions? Any questions? I'm just it's getting busy in here. Yep. What do we got? It's crowded. We're at 34 right now. Holy around. biscuits! It's funny, I keep seeing the things pop up on there, and I feel like they pop up on there so much quicker, but I have terrible eyesight. Yes, lot. Yes, I can't read anything. Justin Hahn just showed up. How's it going, Justin? Justin Hahn. Uh, Sandy's here. Hahn the drum destroyer. Drum destroyer. Christy's saying, "Fly to Chicago. I'll pick you up." Okay. Uh, <laughs> we'll, swing, we'll swing by what uh, Guitar Center. That's that's. Grab we'll some just, gear. Yeah, grab some gear. And you know what? We can just go to one of those T-shirt places, and I'll make we'll make a bunch of T-shirts. Yeah, we'll go to Michael's, and we'll just get yeah. some white T-shirts and paint on some them. glitter glue, sure. and there you go. Glitter glue T-shirts. If we if we just painted our butts with Started. glitter glue and sat on the shirt, we'd have butt print T-shirts. Butt print. Glitter glue. Glitter butt glue. print T-shirts. I might have to get that dot com. So. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I should never share my no. business ideas down here. It's a million dollar idea. I'll give you 20%. <laughs> questions, questions, questions. we got to get back recording. Um, what's your ideal place you want to play? But... <laughs> <laughs> okay, first right question. Right. What's your ideal place that you want to play? Um, somewhere with lots of people. And... No snow. A loud sound system. <laughs> yeah. Sunshine. Um. Huh. My, sorry. No, no, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I know, so that my mind always goes to venues. Like, whether the regardless if the show is great or not, when you're on tour, when they have catering and it's awesome catering, that's always, like, my go-to. I'm like, oh, they fed us and it was awesome. Yeah, it's like, that should, there could have been five people in the room, but you know what? That they pizza feed you. was amazing. They feed you. Wait, where, there was a place that we played. I can't remember where it was, but the pizza, there was only like ten people at the show. But that was one of my favorite shows, because the pizza beforehand was so good. To the point where I ate. Was that one of the buffalo chicken pizzas? No, that was one. That, that was, that was, was in, a different that place. Was in, that was in, that was in, uh. Um, it was the, 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 uh, the New York's or no? The policy in Providence, Rhode Island. Providence, yeah, it was in Rhode Island, yeah. Yeah, yeah the something at the Coliseum. That was like our third show or something. That was one of the best pizzas too that we've had though. Yeah, that was good. Oh, yeah, right. Something yeah. at the Coliseum. Yeah, no, I do remember because Cathedral at the Coliseum or something. I can't remember the name. Because I, I remember, I remember not really getting pizza because I was running around doing my stuff. And then there was, like, found pizza backstage. And the backstage there was, like... Like, backstage, that's, like, green room was just, like, couches and, like, random stuff. <laughs> and there was just pizza boxes. And I was like, oh, I guess this guy's had pizza. And then I just opened it up and I just started eating it. I'm like, I don't even know how long this has been here, but I don't care right now. It's, it's like... 
if you if you grew up playing video games and you just walk into a place and you're like, oh, I will just eat this, I will just eat this turkey, oh, yeah, and I will just take these gems and I'm good because this is how things work. Smash like, a few pots, get a few yeah, rupees. Yeah, exactly. You know? So I just found pizza, and I'm like, oh, okay, it's power up. Here we Level go. up. Oh, my gosh, yeah. that's awesome. I didn't know that. I just remember the fun, the, the photo shoot that we did after. Because, like, the club was open and stuff, and we were doing this photo shoot, like, running through, and, and Liz was there, and Cheryl was there. Yeah. Um, oh, my gosh. That was, that was a fun one. That was definitely a fun one. So I, I would say, you know, hopefully anywhere and everywhere in the U.S. would be a fun place to play. Yeah. I, um, there's again, nowhere that I've played that I'm like, never take me here again. There were places that I played where I was like, man, yeah, this could have been better. But there was never... Oh, wait. I know what you're talking about already, Mike, before you even say it. What do you want to say? I don't want to say anything. <laughs> okay. I will, I will say this because you don't have control over um, the elements of nature. No. But there was one place that we played mm -hmm. when we were on. Do you remember what tour it is? Mm -hmm. What tour? No. Oh, uh, oh, you're talking about the when we didn't have the soundboard. Nope. Oh. Same tour though. So uh, we we were with Gemini syndrome. Yeah. We played. It was it was way down south and it was outdoor, and everyone got destroyed by, by mosquitoes. mosquitoes. And I'm just thinking. And almost it, bit it, by a. a Scorpion. Scorpion. Yeah. But yeah, that was the only thing about that. I was just like, like, I can, we can all put up with stuff, but that was the all one day we were where pretty I'm, much in Mexico. Yeah. As that was the one day where I'm like, I feel like I just want to get out of my body for three hours because it's getting just McAllen. Yeah. It was in McAllen, Texas. Yeah. It was yeah. If but you yeah, could, that was, you could throw a stone I, across the border. I liked the venue, but the, out, the mosquitoes were they just. They treated us awesome. Yeah. It was. When we showed up, I was like. I was like, oh man, this is out. And that was when I was not feeling good. I was like, I was losing yeah. the skin on my hands and, and literally, but that was why I didn't get bit by the mosquitoes. Cause I was wearing <laughs> in the, like Texas in the summer, I had a long sleeve, uh, yeah. like jean shirt on and yeah. long sleeve pants and like a toque and a scarf. Had excellent mosquito repellent. I had excellent mosquito <laughs> repellent. I think also I was drinking enough beer that any mosquito that bit me ran and told his friends, "Don't, don't go near that guy." Like, no, oh, Budweiser. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no. Again, there's nothing against the, the venue. It's just sometimes with those outdoor things, it's just like super. Yeah, the venue was awesome. They yeah, were it was great. fun. Outdoor stuff's generally fun. Yeah. And the bands, I do remember the bands being there were awesome too because like. They had family and friends there that, yeah, that no, we ended good. up hanging out with quite a bit. Yeah, that was good. But yeah, it's tough with the elements sometimes, but that it does. Becky Jordan saying, "Deet is your friend." Deet wouldn't have helped. It was it was thick. I feel like they it was thick. With they Deet. laughed at Deet. Yeah. They almost it's almost like uh, the the if you're a Game of Thrones person, it's like that's when they started climbing on top of each other to get to the top of the Yeah. Oh I I don't wanna spoil anything. Yeah. Yeah, no spoilers, sorry for those that don't Yeah, the mosquitoes are there doing push ups on picnic tables being like Sophie is over here with hold, the Hold my beer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh another question up here I missed. Uh no more loving Texas. We'll be back to Texas. Love Texas. Uh, how many songs on the first album? Ten. Albums should be ten songs these days. And bands should put out quite a bit of music. That's how I feel. These are my own thoughts. They don't represent thoughts of Tense Machine. I, I concur. Um, any I'm more questions? Uh, what do you like most about being on tour? It's a tough one. Like, there's quite a few things. Uh, sleeping, eating properly, uh, yeah, just generally taking care of your body. <laughs> Brandon has been on a different tour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I would say what I like about being on tour. It's just like every day is an adventure. Travel. Yeah. Every every day you wake up, and I was not to gamify everything, but like in Grand Theft Auto the missions, like take this person to this building. Yeah. And the next thing you know, like you're five stars in, and Something everything's goes. gone completely bonkers, and you're like, "What just happened there?" It's like, 
on tour, everything's. I was. I would say everything's fine until it's not fine. That's that's yeah. Right. That's generally how it goes. <laughs> yeah. And then you get to the the gig and you set up and everything's fine, and then it's just like, and then you're driving and then your lights don't work, or you're driving and there's no gas stations or. You get to the hotel and it takes like 45 minutes to check, to check in. When you call them and said, can you please have the keys ready? I will just come in and throw my credit card at you. It's already prepaid anyway, so I don't know why this is taking so long. People need to sleep. It's 4.30 in the morning. So, well, that's and my... sometimes you go in and, and they're asleep in the back. That's good, too. Because like I, I definitely have had that a couple times. And, and trying yeah. to get, I'm like, where is this person? And I can see their feet sticking out from yeah, like a not, cot in the back. Not calling anybody out Motel 6, but it <laughs> happens on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, man. So yeah, real, real talk, Brandon. Favorite, favorite thing about tour? Uh, Mexican food. You don't get good Mexican food in Canada. You do in the U.S., though. Yeah, we kind of get Mexican food in, in Canada. But yeah, this is definitely different when you, you head down. Well, there. you go to the you go to the Mexican food section of the grocery stores, and it's just a bunch it's of it's a burrito. It's just, it's like a bunch of taco packs. I'm like, that's not real. Yeah, <laughs> come on. And even you check the high shelf and the low shelf. I want like still a amazing. place with like super basic table and chair, old broken ass speaker pumping a mariachi <laughs> band. You know what I mean? You know exactly what I mean. You have expectations. You walk in, they... they table side guac. They, well, they immediately put down some salsa and some chips. Yeah, then you know it's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I would say the only thing that... Um, not the only thing that I miss, but the biggest thing that I miss is the fact that, like, half of the friends that we meet on the road... It's not like we go down and spend time in random... So there's there's so many people yeah. that you meet on the road that, you, you know, you become friends with, you see quite a bit, and then you go for a couple months doing an album or whatever and, and, and don't go on the road. And it's like people that you saw every couple weeks or every month or so... Yeah, it's like a you just cycle. Don't, yeah, and, see them, and you yeah. just don't see them again. So that, that part sucks. But, uh, yeah, I, I love Mexican food, but... My tum tum doesn't handle Mexican food like these guys. I can I can do it every once in a while and then I get cramps. And yeah. I, I look like a five year old that, uh, that ate too much candy. Someone who's shared many a room with Dane. <laughs> I can vouch for that. Dane's very he's very conscious of what what he consumes because he knows his timeline with certain things. <laughs> it's like no 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 we gotta play. I'll save that for later. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's nice to see people though on tour because you, you kind of get like different circles of people that you know in different cities, right? So yeah, yeah. We definitely feel the love when we go around now. We have a little circle and yeah, little place. So feels like home everywhere it's we go. It's nice to have friends. It's so nice. So so nice. Oh, Jeremy is as well saying front of house. Ooh, that's hot. Eh? Hmm. It's hot. That's Where? so Canadian what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. Oh, eh? It's hot, eh? <laughs> like I can't when, stop when can you guys come to Illinois we're working on that working on it working on it uh, any other questions I'm scrolling through Jason Carey do you believe in Russian hacking no comment uh, I love Russian hats the hats the, the ones like the, the have the fold up ears Russian hats are awesome all right, favorite food. You're you're sticking with. I know you know you know you already know. What is that's question? Oh, I don't know though. That's one thing. Falafel. Mm. Falafel. Dane. Pizza. I want to guess. Yeah, I was gonna guess pizza. Yeah. That's when when we get offered food at shows. If that's on the menu, like I you're, I you're go from not there. eating before the, the meal it to holds, being like though. that's the thing. And and normally I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go take this. I'm gonna go put this somewhere where no one will find it. And then that's normally in my bunk. And then me which, is my my favorite. You gonna guess? I'm gonna guess wings. It's a good guess, I know. No. No. Wow. Boneless wings. Those are chicken fingers. <laughs> No, <laughs> wings are wings are definitely in the top five. But I I know what happens if I just eat wings all the time. From uh, when I started playing men's league hockey and they go for wings every week, and I was like, that's uh, like yeah, there's a little too much wings. That's, no, that's the wing quarter right me, there. In that for me, visit. and it's something you don't really get on tour because I've tried to eat it a few times before shows, and I'm lost on this one. Lasagna. 
Cause I it's like, never would have guessed cause that in a million like years. Because it's like spaghetti cake. It's amazing. I would have never guessed that. But it's that. so heavy, and the times I've had it before shows, and I'm on stage, and I'm like, oh my I god. I shouldn't have done that. I'm so full of spaghetti cake right now. Yeah, I don't understand how good. people talk about, about carbo-loading. Like, that to me makes no sense. I think you gotta do that hours it? out, though. And then, like, enough to, like, get that through the, the lull, the sleepiness, and then, oh, like, really? you've got your carbs. I think that's part of the, the deal with that. I've been carbo-loading so. all the wrong way. I just eat, like, <laughs> I eat, like, a bowl of pasta before I go run the marathon. And then about 20 minutes in, I feel like I'm I'm dead. That's what, you know, people that run mar- marathons, they drink beer. Carbo- the and that's, yeah. why do you Carbo- think I, like, you guys think I just drink beer for the sake of drink? I'm so going you, to run a marathon he, later. Dane's ready to run at all times. We just realizing that now. If we need a help. I'm the guy to go and get it. Parcel puts yeah. his boots on and he gets, yeah. gets going. Like the dude in 300 where he like he's the messenger but he has to run everywhere. To do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Dane. But that he still the, does that in the modern age. That would be the worst job ever. Hey, it's only a few miles, but we need you to get there really fast. <laughs> we really don't want to do it. Go. You're the scrawny one. You can't carry a shield the right way. Run. Uh, Country Club Barbecue in Peoria. Yeah, next to, that place next to Real 2. Oh. That place I only is, ever had remnants from it. That place is pretty good as well. Because I cool. would normally say that I love barbecue more than pizza, but even when there was barbecue next door to the you venue... You still got pizza. I still would get pizza. <laughs> I, I feel ashamed to even say that, but it's true. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh, okay, we should probably let people get back to... Doing their evening routine. I was gonna say get back to work, but we were. I was gonna say we gotta get back to work. Yeah. Yeah. That's how things work around here. That's right. How the cookie rumbles. Sushi's on here too for a list. I think yeah. Sushi's on the list for Brendan. Oh, it's it's up there. It's pretty good, but again, it's one of those things too. I don't do sushi on show days. It's it's a tough. It's a tough decision to make. Sushi's a good call on show days. For me, if you don't know, it's like it's tough. And then you match that up with per diems, and you're like, mm. budget. Mm. Yeah. McPick's menu. Yeah, McPick's, Done. and then, you know, sushi, you're like, eh, I could eat for like a couple days, so. Anyways, yeah, it's uh, it's not, not that exciting in between, you know, the, all the in-between stuff on, on tour. Yeah. It's some of my favorite that's why, times, though. That's why you don't see people going to the bathroom in the movies. <laughs> they skip all that stuff. Obviously, it happens, but you don't want to see like every you know. Like, <laughs> they t- cut the Tony crap. Stark's like, hold on, hold on a second. I, I totally didn't this. get what you were saying. I thought you meant that's why, like in the movie theater, you don't see people going. No, but to the like bathroom. in movies, I'm in like, movies, yeah. you don't see all the in between stuff. Cut the crap. Cut the crap. Yeah. So. Literally. Uh, last, very last question. What kind of pizza, Dane? What's your what's your dream what's your dream pie? Though? That's that's tough. That's tough. that's, that's you, like. That's like asking me what color hair is my perfect woman. That's it's impossible. Like sometimes you meet a pizza that just changes everything that you thought about what you love about pizza. And it's like I I could have been a pepperoni and bacon man, and then I meet a green pepper and mushroom. You just you're crazy, Hartzell. You're crazy. I, 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 I've, the place. I've seen you go for many a buffalo wing pizza. Oh, yeah. That, honestly, is an amazing an ama- just an amazing I'm amalgamation guy, of... A bunch of maniacs. It's pretty good. <laughs> see this? See this? That's pretty a good. bunch of crazy people. Crazy. All right. Quick recap. Thanks again, everyone, for voting on the, the Caber 101. Remember to vote on Merci. Team Beat Weekly Beatdown. Merci I'll, yes, put, I'll yes. put a link up for that again. Um... Working on a new record, probably coming out in the fall, if not really next year. Working on some potential tour dates. We need to get our visas together. Uh, Jason's asking which place you're at. Oh, my place. Because that's yeah. where all the, the stuff is. It's where the magic happens. This is the magic. Magic happens. So. <laughs> Anyways, um, thanks again. Thanks for sharing. Thanks, guys. We will talk to everybody later. Toodaloo. See you later. Toodaloo.